Okay, today we're going to be looking at this I just got in the mail. This is for a number of future projects. Now, I already have, let me grab over here, this little cheapo arcade button. Uh, you can get these for probably a little less than a dollar. Um, but what I have in here is a full arcade kit. And uh, although I do plan on probably building some sort of uh, arcade table, because I already have an arcade cabinet, um, I bought this big package, uh, which is enough for a two-player with joysticks and multiple buttons. I think uh, I think it was somewhere like 12 or 10 full-size buttons. Well, let's let, let's look. <laughs> Why am I trying to remember what I ordered? But I'm going to be using this for multiple uh, projects. So here's a little pamphlet, and uh, oh, in here looks like oh, they gave me a little little stickers here for first player because you can buy special buttons that have one or two player on there. Um, this came with little stickers, so instead of having buttons designed for it, they have stickers designed for it. Here, let me see. Turn off autofocus here. Man, they focus in on that. So that's nice. It has one, two, and four player. Is there a three player in there? Yeah, so there's four in there. So that that's pretty nice. I was not expecting that. I don't know if I'll use that, at least not with any of my upcoming projects, but I might in the future. And here's a little pamphlet saying they sell two types of buttons. Look at what type you might have. I think I'm going to have this type because unlike this little button, which I says dollar a piece, the ones in this kit uh, light up, which will be pretty cool. So not only do I have buttons, so here is a board. Let me pull this out here so we can have a look at this. Now this is something neat about this uh, this package. And you can buy these boards. You can buy all this separate. It was just cheaper for me to buy it all together. So I should have two of these in here, along with all the wiring for them. So again, let's focus in on this. So this is... I hook up all the different controllers to this, the joysticks or the buttons, and then it goes... It, it should have a USB port. Maybe I have to solder that on there. Uh, but basically, this turns all this. Once you have the USB port on there, should be able to plug it into a computer, and um, it detects it just as a generic uh, game controller. So if I was to use this for an emulator, I don't have to go programming. I don't have to wire into the GPIO pins on a on on a Arduino or a Raspberry Pi or something. Just plug into here. Plug this into the computer, and uh, it will detect it theoretically as a generic game controller. I shouldn't have to install anything. I should have two of those, so let's see. This is the other one here, so number two. And then this is one of the two joystick modules. So here I have, so this game set has blue and red game controllers. So here's a little knob that goes on there, and then this is a game controller which plugs into the board we were just looking at, and again, it turns it into a standard game controller. So the wires are already on there for that, and again, I have red and blue knobs. Here's the second joystick here. So that will be fun to play with. But here we have the USB cable. Oh, that's right, I don't have to solder anything on. The USB cable plugs into the board right there with that little connector there. So that came with it. Oh, this entire package cost $72, uh, which I priced it out buying everything separate was a little more than that. So again, that's why I ordered all these together. So here are what the arcade buttons. Now I have two sizes of arcade buttons. These look like uh, maybe they're the smaller size. So let's pull out the rest of the wires. So here's USB cable for controller number two. Here are all the wires to connect all the buttons to the uh, controller boards, which is nice. These are all the rings, so you drill a hole in your cabinet or whatever you're gonna do, and uh, you slip this through there, and then you just tighten this on, and that's how you connect it to, or install it on a board. And then we have uh, white connectors here too. So again, the rest of what's in here, let me take out all these little loops. These little... So I have red and blue buttons. Again, I think I have 10 of the full-size buttons, which are these here. And then for each color, there are two smaller buttons. So you can see here, again, let's focus in here. 
This one's a little smaller. So these would be what you're playing with, and then these would be your start or select, or your one player, two player, which I could stick these stickers on. So that's great. I, I, again, I think I have 10 of the full size in blue and two of the small and same with the red. 10 of the red. And again, these are, again, this, this button here is one I ordered a while ago that I never used in a project. It's got two connectors on the bottom because it's just a standard button. These have four on the bottom and I'm assuming, looking at the little diagram and the paper they gave us originally, that um, Two of these connectors, let me pull it out of here. Two of these connectors should be for detecting the button press. The other two, I'm assuming, are for lighting up because, again, these are LED lit, so they light up. So, again, I'm going to be using these for um, probably for an arcade table, but I'll probably use one of these small blue ones. Uh, I'm going to be replacing my doorbell and making it a smart doorbell and I thought it'd be cool to have a light up arcade game button so I'm going to just make a nice little wood box put this in there somehow attach it to the wall I already have the wires run for my regular doorbell I'm going to connect that to an ESP8266 module so that I can get notifications on my computer and phone whenever someone rings my doorbell and eventually I'm going to upgrade it so that I can get uh, pictures because I already have a camera out front so yeah these are all just buttons and little little loops to screw the buttons in. So yeah, I'm excited about this. And again, this is going to be used for many projects, not just whoop, not just an arcade table, uh, but just using these buttons and connectors for different projects. Again, like a doorbell. So very excited about this. Again, kind of expensive, 72 bucks, but there's a lot in there. And and again, these little uh modules to turn these into game controllers is nice because I can hook it to a computer and just even if I'm not playing games I can control a mouse or a keyboard or detect any type of game input and have it do whatever I want so very excited about this um, I did see on eBay uh, these modules here the the game modules the game controller modules um, if you look hard enough you can find a set of four for I think it was $12, maybe it was $10, which is a great deal, but it didn't include all the wiring, which you don't need, but it's nice to have the proper connections for those. So it's great that this package came with all of that. And again, I got this off of eBay, um, not eBay, I got this off of Amazon. I checked on eBay, prices were pretty much the same, very little difference, and this was supposed to be two-day shipping, although it took four days to get here which is a little annoying. I mean, four days isn't long, but when you're paying for Prime, you would think, yeah. So anyway, very excited about this, and definitely will be doing many videos using stuff from this box. Uh, if you're interested in the stuff I might be doing with this, building an arcade table, uh, hooking up an arcade smart doorbell to my house, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, and if you like my videos, be sure to check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. That There I have two channels. This is my hardware channel. I have one that mainly focuses on software. You can search through videos from both channels um, on my website. Just go there and start typing into the search field and find what you're looking for. Uh, so be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, looking forward to having some fun with this. Thanks again for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.